Do you have a fear of squid? You should. Anthony here for D News with Elliot Morgan from SourceFed. Elliot, you studied zoology, did you not? I did, yes. A as a non-practicing zoologist, would you say that I am right to be more afraid of cephalopods than anything on Earth? Uh, you mean uh, squids, octopuses, and cuttlefish? Yes. Well, uh, they're sea assassins. They're the most intelligent invertebrates on the planet. They're smart enough to open jars and hide on ships. They can use tools. All octopuses are poisonous. Humboldt squid suckers are covered in uh, sharp teeth. They have active camo built into their skin, so like a 7 out of 10 on the creepy scale. Yeah. And if you didn't already think that these things were nightmare killers, new research this week makes them even more terrifying. First of all, squid arms. Usually they're covered in suckers, sometimes razor sharp ones, but some, like the Caribbean reef squid, don't have suckers at all. They can just wave their arms in a way that can actually, literally hypnotize their prey. Mind control squid. Yeah. <laughs> hate it. But there's a squid with no blade suckers or hypno powers called G. Bon Plandy. It's basically the only squid that I was sure that I could take in a fight. But researchers have found out that its arms can actually mimic small sea animals. They use their arms as bait to lure in other fish. The tentacles can mimic the motions of worms, fish, or shrimp and vibrate in a way that makes crustaceans, fish, and other cephalopods think there's food in the area. Squid masters of disguise. Absolute nightmares. Horrifying. Secondly, we already knew that octopuses are smart. They have about half a billion neurons in their head that are arranged in full-on lobes similar to the human brain. But that's only part of it. Two-thirds of its neurons are actually in its arms, which allows them to act independently. And now, researchers have found that if you cut off those arms, they keep thinking and reacting to danger. So, if I'm in a fight with an octopus, it could happen. and I use my katana to cut off its arm, that plausible. that arm could continue to choke me. Sure. If it was choking you to begin with. And of course, the real nightmare is that the octopus would just grow another super intelligent arm since they regenerate. I hate cephalopods. You know an octopus can actually squeeze through like one inch in diameter. Have you ever measured your nose? Because if the octopus wanted to, it could potentially uh, Go back to source fed Elliot Morgan. You are creeping me out. Ugh. Do you have an animal that particularly creeps you out? You can let us know down below. But if it's anything other than a cephalopod, you're wrong. Oh, they're the worst. It's horrifying.